<laughs> and I'm not um, someone who can say very many eloquent things. Um, but in terms of a few thoughts I had on my mind, I just wanted to share that obviously the world is getting smaller and smaller these days. And our interconnectedness with each other in this shrinking world is becoming more and more evident and obvious. And so it's clear that the choices that all of us make in terms of our intentions and our conduct is having a very immediate effect on the world that we live in and on each other. And so therefore, transforming our intentions and our conduct in a more uh, wholesome direction is not just the responsibility of a few religious people or spiritual leaders, but it's everyone's responsibility now. And uh, I would just like to say that among us first, that I hope that we can work together uh, to do a few beneficial things for the world. Out of choice, When I was growing up, things were pretty much uh, laid out before me. There was a form that was there for me to step into. And due to that, I didn't have much of a choice about what kind of life I was going to lead. And in terms of the outer form that was there for me to step into, there wasn't so much of a choice presented to me in terms of, do I want to be a good person or a bad person? <laughs> I pretty much was forced to be a good person. <laughs> so between me and you, maybe you have more freedom to choose to be a bad person if you want to. <laughs> but all that aside, uh, I think that human beings possess a special capacity of intelligence and the ability to make choice. Um, whether uh, positive choices that bring about benefit or negative choices that bring about harm. And 
since that choice is there before us, I think it's good to reflect on the choices that we have in our own individual lives, our intentions, and our actions, um, to think clearly and reflect clearly about what kind of intentions and what kind of actions do we want to have. Why would I want to engage in positive actions? Why would I want to lead a wholesome life? It's very important to reflect on the reasons for that, uh, because the reasons are there for reflecting on. Um, uh, humans, in general, have this habit of using their intelligence to make choices, but they rely on that uh, oftentimes to make really self-centered decisions and have really narrow, self-centered views of the world. So if we can take the basic intelligence we have and expand the scope of that, then uh, we can have a really powerful, positive effect on the world, not just on humanity, but on all different types of sentient beings and the environment in general. So uh, I think if we reflect on the power we have to make choices, that we'll be able to see this clearly and benefit the world. There's not much sense in me going into a big lecture because you didn't come here to listen to a lecture. Um, but what I really wanted to say was that I'm grateful to be here with you. Um, I think uh, it's rare that we have this opportunity like this to be together. Some of you have had a connection with the previous Karmapa. Some of you have a connection with me personally. But in any case, I live in India. Most of you live in the United States. So it's very rare for us to be together in this way. And I would just like to say that I'm grateful to be together with you here. And I would like to thank you very much. That's all I have to say.